hey everybody welcome back so hope you've all been well I thought I would do a little bit of a collective haul since it's been quite a while since I've seen you probably two weeks um, and the weather is actually beautiful today I tried filming this yesterday and the lighting was terrible it was dark it was gloomy and and yeah so um, today I thought would be the perfect day and um, I've got the house to myself which is cool it's what day is it today? It's Sunday. I've been forgetting the days lately. I haven't been working. Um, I quit my last job. Um, I was working with um, people with disabilities or acquired brain injuries. Um, and that was my first time working with those um, sort of people. And um, it really um, took its toll on me. It was very stressful. It was very hard on my back. Um, and very hard on me emotionally. I tried it um, and I didn't, um, I didn't, didn't work out for me. Certain questions over the time about what I do, so I thought I'd just throw it in there quickly. Um, but so at the moment um, here, um, work is very minimal and um, it's been very hard trying to get a job. Very, very difficult, unfortunately. So I've even gone out of my realm, um, which is you know it's been very hard so I have been keeping busy um, I've lost a little bit of weight uh, I'm trying to um, you know get my weight down um, and just get fit I've been walking a lot um, so that's been keeping me busy and occupied I've quit smoking um, I was smoking since I was probably 17 18 anyway in my teens um, and I quit smoking it's like the fifth month or the sixth month now and um, I did put on eight kilos but I've lost um, a few kilos so that's really good so let's just jump straight into the haul um, this is collective over a period of time um, so let's go with L'Occitane um, this is a conditioner um, that um, I saw on Instagram um, and one of the girls I follow she absolutely loves this um, and I really like her hair and her style and just everything about her, you know how it is. Um, so this is the repairing line and this is the conditioner and this is the 500 mil and I think it was like in the low 30s um, price range or maybe mid. So it's yeah 500 mils and um, it's the repairing line. I probably just said that. It's really good. Um, it's soft. It's gentle. At the moment, um, I'm using Kerastase. Um, it's the leave-in treatment, the weekly treatment. I actually use that on my hair every time I shower it, like a regular condition, like a regular conditioner, because I think it it's sort of more nourishing than a a, a regular one. So um, this is really nice. It's kind of leaves the hair glossy and sort of silky and smooth, um, and just really really manageable. So I really like this, and it's got a really nice earthy um, natural scent. I've been really loving L'Occitane's products. I use a lot of their skincare products at the moment and beautiful. Really love them. So um, I definitely recommend this. I've got, um, I've just done a um, weekly treatment with samples that I got when I purchased this. Um, it's the deep conditioner from this um, repairing line and it is fantastic. I know um, Jess at Gemma Jerica, she loves that um, conditioning treatment. So um, that will be the next on my list, possibly. Um, then at L'Occitane, I ended up picking up this on a whim, but I really love it. It's the Amand um, Shower Scrub, Cleansing and Exfoliating with Flaked Almonds. This is beautiful because it's not so, um, what do you call it, like, it's not very scrubby. It's kind of gentle, so in winter my skin gets so dry, I don't want to over exfoliate it. This is perfect. Um, and yeah, really love this. I love the opening of it. You just twist it, squeeze it out, and then twist it closed again. Same trip, um, but this was from um, a hair salon. And this is the Redken Hair Cleansing Cream Shampooing. So this is a clarifying shampoo basically. It says hair cleansing cream shampoo clarifies and helps remove mineral deposits and styling product buildup on all held hair types. Formulated with fruit acids to add shine, it purifies and refreshes hair. So 
you shampoo your hair, leave this on for about, it says to leave it on for about 5 or 10 minutes. I leave it on for 5, I don't go, you know, um, any further than that. It's probably the nicest um, clarifying shampoo that I've used. My hair is very dry, it's kind of brittle, um, and this is the nicest one that I've used. It's kind of soft um, and silky. So I think this is a different trip or the same trip. I'm not sure. I went to the Chanel counter to see what was new out and they had the Hydra Beauty line out um, and I ended up picking the Hydra, it's called the Essence Mist, um, Hydration Protection Radiance Energizing Mist. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's a like in a aerosol can and it just mists like beautiful mist. It's gorgeous. You can see you just, sh I shake it. I don't know if it says to shake it, but I usually shake it. This is a really nice just pick me up product. It's very, very hydrating. Um, it's really nice to use. You can use it instead of a moisturizer or you can use it over makeup. I don't use it over makeup but I really like it just for a pick-me-up, especially in this colder months. It really just makes the skin look fresh, dewy and vibrant and instantly nourishes and moisturizes it. So it's very expensive, but it is a really beautiful product. Um, if you can even get samples, um, they should have samples at the moment because um, they've uh, got this line going. Um, the Hydra Beauty Serum I definitely recommend um, as well as this, so really nice products. And I ended up picking up a lip liner from Chanel um, and I don't have this one obviously, it's Rose Coral, Coral number 49 and um, I actually got this colour because I thought it would be beautiful um, to fill my lips in with rather than just line my lips. This lip liner would be gorgeous. Um, used all over the lips rather than lining the lips um, because it's just a beautiful vibrant um, coral pink um, or pinky coral. It reminds me of the NARS um, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Bolero, that sort of vibrancy, but um, this is definitely more pink than that, um, but it's got that vibrancy, that kind of, you know, bright, you know, thing to it and um, I thought that would look really nice with a big um, pair of you know cat eye sunglasses which are really in at the moment and I'm loving um, lots of mascara and you know you're good to go I thought that would be beautiful um, so although you can't see the vibrancy and the gorgeousness of this of Instagram um, and I will post swatches of these on Instagram so um, I'll link that below. So that was it for that day trip out shopping. And then I did an order just recently at harrods.co.uk, um, which is um, an online, you know, boutique um, or high-end um, department store. So um, I ended up finding out that um, Tom Ford is now available to um, us Australians to buy. So I ended up picking up a brush that I've been wanting to try. Um, you guys know I really love my um, Tom Ford Cream um, Foundation brush. I use this for the shade and Illuminate. And I just I used it today. I use it all the time. I love this brush. So I ended up picking up this one, which is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I think it is well worth the splurge. And it's the bronzer brush. And this is what it looks like. It is just so big and fluffy and gorgeous and what I did was use um, another product with it today which I'll show you and I just brushed the bronzer back here and I just all over the face it's gorgeous it's the perfect um, shape it's the perfect size nice and big and chunky I love the handle it's beautiful so I really love this brush and it's um, I think it retails for $115, which is a lot, but you'll pay more here for a Chanel powder brush. There's a time when Harrods was selling this Tom Ford line, makeup line, they were available to ship to Australia, but um, it stopped for quite a while and then I just got word that they are um, shipping to Australia again, so um, I 
I took advantage of that. So I've got to share with you this Clinique lipstick that I picked up from the Clinique counter. It's um, the High Impact Lip Color in number 22 Pink Style. Really gorgeous lipstick. Um, I have a swatch on my lips um, on Instagram and I'll link that below the you know the Instagram link um, and it is gorgeous it is such a beautiful pink I love this lipstick this is the lipstick I try to get a to focus so that's coming up very true to the color it's a very light light beautiful baby pink color rosy pink um, so love this lipstick and I like the consistency of it it's just a nice you know nice lipstick it's um it's not like a matte opaque color it's got a tiny little bit of like I wouldn't say it's frosty frosty but it's got that little bit of you know it's got something it's got a little bit of you know, it's got dimension it's got something to it so really love this color picked up from Harrods was the Monica um, for Dolce & Gabbana lipstick and um, this one is in the shade True Monica and it's a beautiful, I'm wearing it today, absolutely gorgeous. It's a gorgeous nude beige colour. Got it to focus. So you can see it's just a beautiful colour, um, really such a perfect shade for me. I love it so much. It feels really good on the lips. Um, it makes the lips look full. I'm actually wearing it with... Um, oak lip liner from MAC and it just goes perfectly. I really love this lipstick. The only downfall is the scent but I'm actually getting used to it so but the color really just is gorgeous and the consistency of it you can see it's just a, a creamy kind of just a classic lipstick. It's just a classic lipstick formula. It's not frosty, it's not matte, it's not glossy, it's you know just um, gorgeous so really love that and I definitely recommend those blush that I saw on the bombshell sweets channel Vanessa and um, it looked gorgeous with her bronze skin and it really is the most gorgeous color on top of um, bronzer on the cheeks and it's the Bobbi Brown washed rose and it is so stunning I don't really have a color like this I think well maybe um, Breath of Plum by MAC is a great dupe, but see how this one's got the most gorgeous sparkle and it's a little bit more pinky um, than the Breath of Plum, but isn't that just stunning? And I'm wearing it today and it really truly does look perfect over um, bronzer. And um, the other product that I got is um, what I'm wearing that blush over and it's this one and it's the Where's the box so I can see the name of it? It's the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Bronze 01. This is an awesome, awesome bronzer for my fair skin because I can dust this all over the face um, lightly and it won't look too bronze. Um, it just gives a beautiful golden sort of glow. Um, you can wear it as blush or... Um, you know over contour just lightly dusting it over um, like I did in my last tutorial with um, the body shop one but that one's a bit darker and more shimmery this is um, just a really nice um, satin sort of um, powder beautiful and I really like these and these are new out um, so we'll try and I'll try and focus that one for you so you can see there you go. So if you're fair skin, definitely recommend this in Bronze 01. Really love that. Going and order. Uh, I did a swap, or I'm doing a swap with um, Bernadette, a friend of mine here on YouTube. And um, so she wanted some mouse products. And I did this one for myself. And this is the Velvet Gloss Lip Pencil. I love all Nars's lip pencils, but um, I've never tried the Velvet Gloss. And let me tell you, this is the most gorgeous consistency it's kind of glossy but it's very saturated in color and it lasts such a long time um, so I don't know if I mentioned the shade it's called club mix there we go see how gorgeous that is um, and I'll swatch it for you I've got a um, swatch of this on my Instagram on my lips so there's the color there 
see how beautiful it's a beautiful plummy color and um, on my skin tone it because I'm so fair it kind of gives me that little bit of vampy sort of look without being too gothic so I love it it's beautiful and again this one is gorgeous with big black cat eye sunglasses lots of mascara um, and you know it just it really does look good so that is everything I think it looks to be yeah um, I'm going to list everything that I'm wearing on my face down below I'm going to create a tutorial of this look um, it's really inspired um, by the late 60s um, I've been watching a lot of Mad Men lately and I've just finished season six um, and I'm not sure if that's the very last season um, but I really am enjoying the makeup looks and the, you know, the style is just gorgeous of the women. They're very classy. I love Megan Draper. She is absolutely gorgeous. So um, I wanted to do like an inspired um, late 60s tutorial, but I wanted to just put a little bit of a modern twist on it. So um, this is the look I came up with. Hope you have a wonderful week and um, I will speak to you very soon. Love you all. Bye.